how and in what ways does your play respond to the current American moment? Um, I think uh, we're in a moment of a moment of hybridity. Um, I think people are interested in seeing things that they recognize, but seeing them in new ways, different ways. Uh, we're interested in recontextualization. We're interested in new mediums, new ways to receive our information and our stories. Um, for me, the play is the play. The the play I wrote. The I, I adapted uh, electronic music ideas, DJing ideas, DJ aesthetics, and rap aesthetics into a play. So my play, I wrote a play like a rap album. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so that's like sort of my approach these days to all my writing, all my art, is that I try to, uh, you know, interdisciplinary sort of adaptation, of, you know, adaptation of form or, or structure. So I look for structures that are not theatrical uh, or, or seemingly not theatrical to write my theater piece. And I look for uh, structures that are not musical to write my musical stuff, mm -hmm. you know. So um, I feel like, you know, stylistically that's how it responds to, you know, what's happening in America. Uh, as far as themes or content, um, you know, I, I, I think that there's a, the stories of the Midwest and, and sort of this, this sort of working class American sort of, we're still figuring out like who we are, like in, from, you know, in all aspects of our culture, not just uh, necessarily middle class people dealing with their, you know, first world problems or whatever. Yeah. Like, um, I think, I think uh, there's a lot of stories, man. There's a lot of stories that we still have to tell. Um, there's a large, like, the, you know, there's, there's true diversity, like the true diversity of who we are is not being reflected, you know, on stage. Like there's so many subcultures and ethnicities and, and different, I mean, like, you know, there's, you know, play, like I see these calls all the time. I'm just going, by the way. Uh, I see these calls all the time for like, you know, plays that explore the African-American experience. But like, as an African-American, like, I know there's a multitude of African-American experience you know, and, and, you know, for me, how we got on is a very specific African-American experience, which is, you know, this sort of suburban Midwestern um, uh, working class, you know, like, like sort of, uh, you know, this, this upwardly mobile um, communities that existed in the Midwest that are actually now starting to fall apart because the, the, the jobs aren't there as much, you know, there's no manufacturing base. And so, you know, now a lot of African-Americans that, that grew up, you know, whose parents immigrated from the South, worked their way up, and then they worked in, you know, cities like Cleveland and Detroit and, and everything like that, are now moving back down South. So, like, my dad, uh, my dad's brothers and sisters are all back in Georgia. And so it was almost like me and my brother and my sister, we were like, and my parents were the only generation that were in Detroit, mm -hmm. you know, or in Michigan. But, like, they've all gone back. And so that's a very specific sort of, community and, and, and so anyway, so I, I think um, in terms of forming content, the play is, is sort of uh, just looking at the, the diverse, the real diversity, the real diversity that exists in terms of how we can tell stories and what the stories are.